Lofty asks, good evening. I want to see you change your old soy cleaner liquid and change it with multiple things. Could you kindly share what liquids do you use? Yes, I can. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly from start to finish uh, what we use in terms of liquids, how much we use of it, how many minutes the ball has to be in, what temperature. I'm going to show you all that in this video. And if you have your own method as a technician, because we all have our own methods, um, please do leave a comment and maybe we can learn from each other. I'm quite fussy with this. I don't like watermarks afterwards. And you know, I, I want it to be really nice and clean. So this is something I've been doing for a long time. I've pretty much perfected this. So here we have the old soil cleaner. The liquid that we're gonna use is a liquid that you can get here in the UK. So yes, that makes a difference. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because a lot of the um, Americans like Rossman, for example, they will uh, tell you to get um, some, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a liquid that they have, but we can't get it here in the UK. And to import is a nightmare because it, I think some of the chemicals in there are not legal here to resell, I, I suppose. So this is flux off. Um, you can get this in the UK. And what we mix it with is a simple distilled water. I know that a lot of people just use 99% um, alcohol. I used to do that, when, you know, like maybe eight years ago. Um, it's not something I recommend because I'm pretty sure it'll eat away pretty fast at, you know, at those temperatures uh, at the solar. And to be honest, it doesn't look shiny afterwards. It looks kind of dull, the solar, at least in, you know, when, when we did it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fill this up and show you exactly, like it's 10% it's of this basically. 10% of this stuff is what you need because it's a, let's see, it's a, says here somewhere one to ten mixture or ten to one and so ten percent of this and then the rest of that so if you have a gallon tank like we do with this old soil cleaner there's a crest old soil cleaner it's a very nice old soil cleaner i like it it does a very good job sweep frequency and all that here's what we do so first i pour in the distilled water and I pour it almost to full. So this is the fill line. This is the, the maximum fill you can do. And so, but we're not gonna fill it all the way because again, 10% or, or 10 to one mixture is what we need. So I'm gonna fill it. Oh, splattering everywhere. What a mess. So I'm gonna fill it. I normally don't do this on this desk. We have a separate desk for this to sit on. So I'll probably do until about maybe there, roughly. I would say that's about 90% full to there. So let me adjust this camera. So I would say that's about correct. So this is about, I would say this is 90% filled pretty much. And uh, there's 10% left until the fill line, I would say roughly. Um, and on this here with this flux off stuff, which is specifically made for PCBs, obviously, um, we're gonna fill it to the rest of the way like that. And it smells a bit like, oh, it smells a lot actually like uh, window cleaner. So the rest is gonna be filled until that fill line with flux off. This is very toxic stuff, apparently. Don't get it on your fingers. Wear gloves. And what we're going to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually show you on a logic board. It's going to flicker a bit, but you get the point. We are going to put the heater on, and the heater, let me just show you first. I'm going to select five minutes, five minutes on each side. Obviously, we're not going to do this yet because it has to heat up first. Um, but it's, uh, it's set to five minutes. So we put the board in on one side and then the other. And then if I select the degrees, I use 65 degrees C. 
and uh, degas power, or I think that's what it is, is the um, is a debubbling. I think it like does a debubbling process. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not a chemist. I'm not exactly sure exactly what it does. I know though that uh, if we have this option selected while it's heating, it heats faster because the 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 vibrations of that will heat it up even faster and it, it's actually much faster heating it up if we put degas on and apparently you're supposed to do that anyway after you replace the liquid so here's what we're going to do we're going to put the heater on and we're going to let it heat and we put the degas on as well but first i want to put the lid on because this, this is toxic stuff so kind of i suppose at least the labels say that With that, you should have a basket and a, and a lid like this. So let me put, put this in. And I'm just going to run it with the degas option here. It's going to flicker a bit because of, the, uh, because of the refresh rate on this. So I'm going to... So I'm going to come back now when this is all heated up to 65 degrees and then we and then we can get started on the laundry ball. So here we are, it's heated up now as you can see on that screen and it's flickering like crazy because of the free fresh rate as I said before. These, um, this is a donor board I have and you can see here it's, you know, it's got a bit of flux on it. It's got maybe a mark here or there in terms of water on the corners. There's a lot of scratches in it. Obviously, it won't get rid of the scratches. Probably not. So, um, but yeah, like like here, there's a bit of water damage there. I'm going to put it on the microscope now as well for you to see in detail. And then I'm going to run through the actual process of it because I don't think I'll be able to show that. So let me have a look here. So there's a lot of flux here, around here. There's a bit of a watermark here. And then SMC obviously removed. And you know, a lot of old flux. This is pretty old flux, like months, months old. So I'm gonna get rid of all that with this old soil cleaner. So on this here, you can just, on this specific old soil cleaner, you can just do this. And it, um, it you know, leans it on the side. So you don't have to, you know, grab it or anything like that and you just let the water drip off off like this off the lid gives a lot of condensation and oh yeah before i forget take the heat sink off take anything off that you don't need uh or you, you don't want in there basically um you would also take the fan off obviously but yeah, take the heat sink off and ideally clean under the heat sink the old joint cleaner can take care of it but it kind of discolors the board if you do that with the uh, thermal paste. So if you just get rid of the heatsink and clean up. Again, this is a donor board. This is not a customer board. I would be much more careful on a customer board, of course. So when do you use an ultrasonic cleaner? Well, me personally, I use an ultrasonic cleaner. If I done a lot of board work that require a lot of flux, um, that's when I use an old sign cleaner or after a uh, massive board damage repair, you know, things like that, get rid of the rest of the corrosion or the marks on the board. Um, I do sometimes use it before repair as well. If the board damage is severe and I can make a mental note about where the corrosion is. Um, so I make, I, I, I look at the board, I make a mental note and I put in the old sign cleaner if it's really bad beforehand and also afterwards if it needs a lot of work and there's a lot of flux on the board. Um, this will get rid of it very well. So if I, if I get rid of this here, like that, nice and clean. Um, if you want to preserve the stickers, you know, in this old soil cleaner, it kind of gets rid of a lot of the writing and the serial number and stuff. If you want to preserve them, you have to take them off with a bit of heat. Um, some of the foam you can take off, mostly it's okay. Um, but yeah, you just chuck it in five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other. So you just dunk it in, put the lid on. Uh, five minutes, sets here, 65 degrees, and there we go. 
Okay, so the process is now complete on one side. Before I go to the next side, because it has to go very quickly after that, like I have to get it out and, and run to the, um, to the kitchen and pour this over it. So this is isopropyl alcohol, 99%. It will displace the water um, of the old sonic cleaner. I'm gonna pour it over the board and you won't be able to see that process because I'll be doing it over the sink in the kitchen. So I just pour this over, 99% alcohol, over the board and then I bring it back and then I'm gonna heat it with a heat gun and blast it with the uh, pressured air. The pressured air will allow it to um, come out from under the chips and it'll get evaporated by the hot air as well. Um, and after that, there's another process which I'm gonna show you, which is kinda nice, it'll make it look even nicer. And, but yeah, if I just take this out now and flip it, so flip the board around to get the other side. Still hot, obviously. I can turn the heat off now because it's gonna stay quite warm while it's doing the Sonic. That's only five minutes anyway. So another five minutes on the other side. So the old side cleaning has completed on both sides of the board. So I'm gonna get the board out now. And then I'm gonna to go to the sink and pour 99% alcohol over it. I'm gonna close this up real quick. And then afterwards we're gonna inspect the board. So 99% alcohol with this over the sink. So now I've poured the um, isopropyl alcohol over it. I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see what I'm gonna do now with the heat gun. So let me adjust it like this. So here's what I'm gonna do. Heat it up and blast. Two seconds, I'm just gonna have to turn the stop room on. There we go. Come on, waiting for the compressor to finish. It's been off for a while, so the tank's empty. Okay, so the board's now dry and it's been completely blasted with the heat gun, blasted with the, um, with the air compressor. So again, the reason why we do the air compressor is because it'll blast underneath the chips and it'll get rid of all the liquid underneath the chips and the um, hot air, while also heating the board, it'll also directly um, evaporate the liquid coming out. So it's a very safe method. I use this for years. I know some people put this into an oven for like an hour. Um, you can do that too, I suppose, as long as you're careful with the heat. But this is a very effective way. I've never had issues with this. This is perfect for us. And it takes like two minutes. So um, here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna bring it on the microscope. So it has, right now as with every board that we ever done done is it has liquid marks on it which is normal when you use the um, um compressed air because it just kind of makes streaks while the uh liquid is being blasted out so i have a good method to get rid of it to make it look like brand new um, but the flax and everything is gone so if you have a look here you can see the only thing that remains are liquid traces so traces of liquid where liquid was before it was evaporated if I have a look here this is all trace of liquid where what when it was blasted out and uh, but the actual corrosion is gone 
Uh, you can get rid of these water markers as well. Flux completely gone from there. It's perfect. So now I'm going to use a what we use as a clean room wipe and brake cleaner. Brake cleaner is something I often use. I do recommend getting brake cleaner because it has multiple uses. Um, I like to finish up after I solder and I use uh, alcohol to clean up with a toothbrush. I like to go over it with a clean room wipe and alcohol. So I got in a tub here. So let me just wipe the board a bit. So is it in focus? Let's see. It is, okay. So like I said, it's obviously not gonna get rid of scratches, but it's gonna get rid of, um, well, it has gotten rid of all the corrosion. So now we're just gonna get rid of, you know, just to make it look good, uh, to get rid of the, let's see. So that is the water sticker. I do love brake cleaner. Brake cleaner is so good. If you use a board cleaner, I recommend brake cleaner because it's much cheaper than a board cleaner. So if I, so like here, for example, or oh, this here, if I wipe over it, no problem, it's gone. It's perfect. Again, that's not really um, an issue with like corrosion or anything. I got rid of all the corrosion. This is just when you use the pressured air, it'll create water streaks. So yeah, just rinse and repeat. So now, if I look under the microscope and all the areas that were before looking pretty terrible, like this one, look how perfect that looks. I mean, that is as clean as you get from a factory. It's a bit of dust there. And yeah, it's, it's perfect. Like this was full of flux, old flux as well burnt old flux and um, you know around here you can see there's also like water drop streaks and yeah it's, it's, it's just perfect you can also use a toothbrush which will get into um, into the in between the parts you know just use a toothbrush or something to finish it off but really there's no need to because this is now if this was a working board, this is not going to come back to you with, with uh, you know, any corrosion issues. Not, it's nothing, nothing's going to come back with that method unless it's already eaten up. Um, then obviously you need, you need to fix that beforehand before you put it in, into the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, but yeah, this is the method from start to finish. You can see here, like it is perfect. Look at it. And that's how I like my boards like this. Uh, when they leave here, they all look like that. So I hope you found this useful. If you have your own method, please share it with us. Um, we can learn from each other. Uh, put it into the comments. And if you like this video, give it a like. If you don't, dislike as well, that's fine. And um, I will see you in the next video.